What is up, Madden NFL 25 gamers? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be breaking down another defensive tip uh, for Madden 25. This is going to be another pressure blitz that you can use um, in order to get pressure from the um, edges in Madden 25. Real quickly, before I jump into the pressure, I want to quickly direct your attention to the description. And uh, also, if you're new, I want to direct your attention to my YouTube channel as a whole. Um, there's some good stuff in the description. You can find some links to other videos that are pretty good, uh, and they can be beneficial to your game. And then also, for those of you who are new, uh, I post Madden 25 tips. Typically, I do one or two videos a day. And so you can check that out by subscribing to my YouTube channel and then clicking on my uh, little profile name at the bottom of the screen. And that will lead you uh, to some other video content that you can check out. Uh, so that maybe you can get a little better as well. Um, but today's defense we're going to be talking about uh, comes from the Cover 2 playbook, uh, but it can be found in multiple, uh, a lot of playbooks, any pretty much any playbook with a 4-3 base uh, defense. Um, and the play is the Dime Normal, and it can be done out of a lot of different plays, um, but my favorite play to do it from is the Fox Fire Zone. And uh, we're just going to show you how the splits works real quick. So what we want to do with this is we want to base align our defense. We want to shift our linebackers uh, to the left. And the reason we want to shift them to the left is just uh, just for preference. And my personal preference is to shift them to the left. And then we're going to take our line. We're going to crash them to the left. And then we're going to do a couple things. Now, first and foremost, you can zone your linebacker with this dime scheme. Uh, with the global command. So if I say to zone him and globally zone him, you're just going to hit R1 and then you're going to flick that right analog stick up and you see now he's in a yellow zone instead of he's blitzing. And then we want a purple zone or curl flat zone uh, this left to screen defensive end. We want to take this uh, left to screen defensive tackle. We can man him up on a player, um, but what I really like to do is put him on a flat zone. And then next we want to spy this right of screen defensive tackle here. And then one thing I really like to do is I'll man align and then base align again. And you see that the yellow zones are now going to be a little bit more balanced. Um, and I always like to press coverage out of this. Now I know that's a little bit of stuff that you have to set up. But the result is that you're going to get a... Uh, oh crap. <laughs> you should get that guy off that right edge. Uh, it was working out of the man version of this play. Um, it, you may not have to... You actually may not have to crash your line then. Uh, maybe that's the mistake I made because this blitz angle by Hughes is already what you want. So let me see here. If that's what that, that's what I did wrong. My apologies, guys. Um, so most of my blitzes you will crash your line one way or the other, but this one specifically you don't have to crash them. Um, so then you can just it, it's an it's one step that you don't have to do, and now you see that this blitz is going to get uh, a guy off that right edge very clean at the quarterback. So real quickly, uh, let's recap. Uh, we want to come out. We want to base a line. Um, you don't actually have to base line when you first come out. Uh, so what I would recommend doing is I would come out and I would shift my linebackers to the left. I'd zone my linebackers, and then I'd make my hot routes on these guys. I would curl flat this guy, uh, left to screen defensive end. I would flat zone the left to screen defensive tackle. The quarterback spy the right of screen defensive tackle, and then I would man a line, and then I'd base a line and press. And the reason I would do that is because it's going to rebalance your zones, make them play a little bit better against uh, against a, a standard spread or trips or whatever offense. And so as you see, um, then, then your pressure is going to come in off that right edge, and you're going to have pretty good coverage uh, overall. Now, uh, this play can be run flipped, so you can just flip the play, and it looks exactly the same. And so say we wanted to keep shifting our linebackers to the left. There's no problem with that. We can do that, and then we can just, again, flip the adjustments, and everything's the same. We just flip the sides, and now we're going to get that loop pressure off that left edge instead of that right edge. And so you see what we're doing with this defense is we're getting the two-man edge pressure off of right and left edges looking exactly the same. Um, this is a very difficult defense to uh, to read and to play against because you can run it from both sides. But if you have any questions, if I was unclear on something, or if there's any problems with this video or Blitz in particular, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you have any specific questions related to the game, um, some things you may have be maybe having problems with please also direct that to the comment section 
and if you have just a super big long question uh, you can email me and my email is in the description below uh, but do remember we don't crash the line out of this play because of that wide blitz angle we get stock and that's going to help uh, that's going to save you an adjustment um, and it's also going to allow you to uh, be faster in making your plays and uh, get that clean at right edge pressure that we like all right guys so that's the video for today be sure to come back tomorrow or um be sure to come back tomorrow for another Madden 25 tip, but uh, be on the lookout pretty soon. I'm going to be breaking down how I like to build an offense and a defense from the ground up. Hopefully you guys can appreciate that video. Um, that's very important uh, when designing your offense and defense in Madden 25. Thank you for your time today, guys. I apologize for the one mistake earlier in the video, and uh, hopefully this splits can be beneficial to you in third and long situations.